Hello guys, welcome back to X-Plane and today we're going to take a look at how to use the RMI in the G1000. Now the RMI needs to be brought out by pressing PFD and then BRG1 if your VOR is tuned to NAV1 or BRG2 if it's tuned to NAV2. In this case, since the Lobog VOR is tuned to NAV1, we're going to press BRG1. So here is the instrument. It is this blue line. And that line will always point towards the VOR. So let's get in the air and let's take a look at how it works. Okay, so now that we're in the air, let's take a look at how it works. First, we need to know our LOP. We know our LOP on the RMI based on where the tail is. In this case, it is 180. Therefore, we can say that we are outbound radio 180 as we are headed away from where the arrow is pointed. If we were pointing in the direction of the arrow, in this case which is a 360, we would be inbound radio 180. So in this situation, let's say we are given a radio to intercept. Let's say we need to intercept outbound radio 210. How do we do that? Well, since we don't have anything to rotate, we are only going to find the intercept heading and then turn towards it. In this case, 210. And since the difference is about 30 degrees times 260, and 60 is our maximum intercept angle for an outbound radio, we need to take the outbound radio and then go beyond the tail by 30, correction, 60 degrees. In this case, 210, 30 degrees would be 240, and 60 degrees would be 270. Therefore, our intercept heading will be 270. So let's turn there now. And as you've noticed, I have turned the autopilot on so that I don't have to worry about flying at the moment and I can just focus on the procedure. So now you'll notice that as we turn towards heading 270, the tail of our RMI is now heading towards 210, which is our target. It's also interesting to note that without anything to turn, uh, we do not have any markers for the targets. So it's always good to remind yourself every now and then, just in case you forget. So again, in this case, I am going to intercept an outbound radio 210. Another note to point out is uh, once the once the needle reaches about 10 degrees away from the target, that's when you begin your turn to anticipate the needle reaching 210 by the time you finish your turn. So it's now approaching 10 degrees. We are now going to turn towards heading 210. And there it is, we have intercepted outbound radio 210. But let's say we are given an inbound radio. What if we needed to intercept inbound radio 150? Let's move this out of the way and let's take a look at how it's done. So first we know that our target is 150 and because inbound we need to look at the opposite side of the compass and that's 330 and then sandwich the head meaning we need to move towards where the arrow is so in this case what is our intercept angle the difference between this is about 60 degrees times 220 but the max is going to be 90 90 degrees to our target so 90 degrees so 150 opposite side 330 90 degrees from 330 is 060. Therefore, our heading will be 060. So let's head there now. It's also important to do your five T's. So turn already turning, twist. Already twisted, right about now. Time or nothing to time. Throttle. Uh, maintaining 3500 and top now turning to heading 060 
Okay, so I've moved the aircraft a bit closer to the station and a bit closer to our target so we can see what goes on. So 10 degrees from, we're going to head to a heading of 330. Turn already turned. Twist, already twist. Time or nothing at a time. Throttle maintaining 3500. And talk. Now turning to heading of 330 to intercept inbound radio 150. As you can see, it would seem like we've overshot a little bit. So we're actually going to target a little bit to the left of our heading, maybe about five or so degrees to that side so that we could recenter the needle. Now let's consider the case where you would need to intercept a radial which is more than 90 degrees away from your current line of position. This would require boxing. In this case, let's say we are given a radial 030 outbound. How do we intercept that? The first thing we need to do, as with the traditional VOR instrument, is to head in the direction of the radial, or head parallel to the radial. So, 030, turn already turned, twist, already twisted. Now, if you remember in boxing, we make our turn towards the radial once we are past the cone of confusion. But since the RMI does not have a cone of confusion, we are simply going to use the RMI itself to determine whether the station is 90 degrees away from us or not. In this case, once the needle is past this 90 degree point, in this case the head would pass below zero, uh, 300 and the tail would go above 120, we make our turn. In this case, since the maximum interception degrees for an outbound radial here would be 30 degrees, 30 degrees from 030 is going to be uh, 330. So, we've passed this, we are now going to head towards 330. And turn already turn, twist already twist, timer not in the time, throttle maintaining 3500. And then there it is. We have now intercepted outbound radial 030 from a radial that was 90 degrees away from our LOP. Now let's try intercepting an inbound radial that's greater than 90 degrees from our LOP. Let's say we need to intercept radial 270. Inbound, in, inbound radial 270 is here. And as the first step of boxing, we need to fly parallel to the radial. So, 270 on the heading bug. And now turning. Twist already twisted, timer nothing at a time. Actually, in this case, timer will actually need to be on standby since, as you remember, in boxing, in inbound radial, we're gonna have to time two minutes after passing the quote unquote cone of confusion so that we have enough time to intercept the inbound radial. Okay, I've moved our aircraft a little bit closer in the interest of time. So, we're about to pass the quote-unquote cone of confusion. Okay, it's past the point. Timer starts. And we're going to wait for two minutes. Okay, here comes two minutes. Okay, two minutes has elapsed. Begin the turn. Gonna head to 180 next. So turn, now turning, twist already twist, timer, stand by, reset. Throttle maintaining 3500, and talk. Now turn it heading 180. Now would be a good time once again to remind yourself that we are going to intercept inbound radial 270. And once again, you can see what we're doing here. We are sandwiching the head since this is our current heading and here's our target we're going to put the head in between our target okay so i've moved the aircraft closer to our target in the interest of time once again and now 10 degrees from the target we're going to move 
our heading bug here and begin our turn. So let's twist, already twist. Now it would seem that we might have overshot, so we're just going to keep turning a little bit to the left so that we can return the needle to center. And there it is, we have intercepted an inbound radio 270. Well, I hope you guys found this interesting and useful. We'll see if we'll come up with another one. Thank you and good day.